Hey, I am not Guy Brennan. <laughs> uh, welcome to Talk Show, the game show. Give yourselves a round of a hand. A round of applause for this great space, the Google Fiber event, event space. And for ATX Fest, give a round of applause for that. And keep that round of applause going for your host tonight, Guy Brennan. Hello, how are you all doing? <laughs> you guys, tonight we're going to determine who the single finest talk show guest in all of Austin is. Are you ready for that? <laughs> but before we can go any further, I must introduce you to my beloved scorekeeper, Mr. Claude Ramey. Claude. <laughs> Claude, square out towards the audience. Behave as though you've done this before. <laughs> Claude, how was your week? Uh, I got hit by allergies. That's why I sound like B. Arthur. Uh huh. Yeah. So this is you with a low voice? Yes, I'm not normally this butch. Puberty is, <laughs> puberty is going to hit you like a freight train. Mm -hmm. um, Claude, you know it was uh, kind of a rough, a rough week for our president, Mr. Trump. I mean, it's kind of a normal week. For, yeah. <laughs> no, Claude, don't minimize this, okay? <laughs> Former FBI Director James Comey went before Congress and testified that Mr. Trump had pressured him to end the investigation into Russian interference with the election. I don't believe it for an instant, Claude. I don't believe it for an instant. If I know Donald Trump at all, when he tries to pressure someone to do something, he grabs them by the genitals. <laughs> but Mr. Trump just could not catch a break this week, Claude. No. Um, uh, reality winner, a NSA contractor, uh, leaked, uh, leaked documents that, that showed a, a Russian hack attempting to influence the actual results of the election, uh, which is fascinating. It left me with one really clear question, though. Why is the NSA employing a racehorse? <laughs> that is funny because her name is Reality Winner. That doesn't sound like a people name. It sounds like a racehorse name. <laughs> Claude. You guys don't need to break off into a separate conversation. You can do that afterwards. We can talk about civics. Claude, eventually. Claude. <laughs> yes. Amazing week for Patty Jenkins, Claude. Uh, yes. Tell, tell everybody who does not know who Patty Jenkins is. I'm trying to remember. Patty Jenkins is the director of Wonder Woman. Yes. This oh, yeah. I knew that. <laughs> Your time is over. Um, this week, um, Patty Jenkins, or last weekend, with $103 million, Wonder Woman became the highest grossing opening weekend for a film directed by a woman. <laughs> Though, to put that in perspective, it is already the highest grossing film directed by a woman that isn't about Diane Keaton learning to find love again while running a successful bakery. <laughs> Claude, do you follow motorsports? No, not really. That's understandable, Claude. Uh, but it was uh, a really exciting week uh, at the Indy 500, I am told. I had to remove something from my pocket so I could <laughs> properly read it. Um, but Takumo Sato, Claude, Takumo Sato won the Indy 500, becoming the first Asian person to ever win the Indy 500. Did hear about that. It, it's extremely exciting because it disproves the stereotype that Asians are bad drivers. <laughs> or proves the stereotype that Asians are very good at dull, repetitive tasks. <laughs> I went very racial for Austin, and I apologize. <laughs> but speaking of apologies, did you hear about Kathy Griffin's rough week? Yeah. yeah, Kathy Griffin got fired from her job hosting New Year's at CNN because she posed for a photo with a uh, disembodied Donald Trump head uh, covered in blood, which seems strange to me because a horrifying red skull has always been part of Kathy Griffin's brand. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Are you guys ready for talk show The Game Show? <laughs> In just a couple of moments, I'm going to bring Wanda Sykes, Tate Donovan, and John Glazer out here. And I'm going to interview them. And while they're interviewed, they're going to score points by doing the sorts of things you are supposed to do on a talk show, like name dropping, or lying about or obscuring their age, 
or mentioning a pet. I should have done something that wasn't two points. Um, and then they will be evaluated by our fabulous panel of judges. Would you guys like to meet them right now? All right. First up, judging for artistic merit, she's an eight-time Emmy Award winner. She has worked on Ellen and the Pete Holmes Show. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, please welcome Ms. Karen Kilgariff. Turn it, turn it on. Yes, it's your job. There are strict union rules here. There was a lady backstage with a lot of opinions about that. She didn't mention turning on my microphone. Karen. Yes? How do you think my monologue went? Well, I'll tell you. Yes. Hold on. Um, in a world where reality is ripping apart at the seams, every single day I feel like your monologue was penetrating and yet perfectly superficial. Um, your reality winner horse name joke was perfect, and I think it would have destroyed at the Preakness. <laughs> um, the Diane Keaton joke was superb, um, and I think your uh, Asian joke was very edgy, if this was the 90s. Yeah. And I think it was just racist Karen, enough. Karen, Karen, let's never forget that I came up on Chelsea lately, okay? Okay, all right, my, fine. My chops are hack. You can, you can take the girl out of the... Yeah, anyway. <laughs> Good job. Give me a score. Oh, that's right. I love you. I give you a 10. 10 points. <laughs> Karen, will you promise me for the remainder of the show you won't just give people the score that is closest to you? I'm going to do what I want. Okay, fair. Uh, and our lead judge, judging for strategy, Mr. Casey Schreiner. Casey Schreiner, everybody. <laughs> Casey, how do you think my monologue went? That's right. You guys are seeing behind the veil. When this is a talk show, you never see people go. struggling with equipment like this. It's so real. It's, uh, I, it's like making your own cheese. I, I thought your monologue was good. Uh, we have definitely seen some rough monologues from you in the past. This was uh, <laughs> at least a little bit above a rough monologue. Uh, Claude is a new addition uh, to the talk show, The Game Show Family. I am really glad that within 20 seconds, a Golden Girls reference was made. Um, Claude's, had, Claude's chops are hacked, too. We had genital grabbing, <laughs> uh -huh. uh, which is important for any comedy show. Yeah. Uh, and also, the racehorse joke was great. The fact that you had to explain the racehorse joke <laughs> made it better. <laughs> Eight points. Eight points! All right, Claude, while I reposition myself for the interviews, why don't you tabulate my score, tell my score to the audience, and then tell everyone what our first place winner is going to take home today. Can you do that, Claude? I think I can. I believe in you. <laughs> All right, uh, guys' score so far, he got 18 points from the judges, and I gave him two points for name-dropping Chelsea Handler. Oh. So, Claude, no, don't encourage him. Claude. <laughs> You apparently have not read the pages and pages of rules of talk show, the game show, <laughs> but you only have the power to award one discretionary point, okay? Oh, uh, okay. You might want to hold on to it, but don't try to just pull okay. shit like that because you think it's fun, uh -huh. all right? This is a system of rules. Change that to a 19 right now. I will. It still puts you in first place of your own show, so. Thank fucking God. Guy now has 19 points. Applaud! And tonight's guests are competing for an authentic $100 gift card to Buffalo Wings. <laughs> Buffalo Wild Wings. He's not a strong reader, everybody. No. <laughs> I have phonics flashcards and we're working on it. <laughs> All right, you guys, our first guest, she's a comedy legend. What am I going to say? You know her from her comedy special, What Happened to Miss Sykes, her role in the hit comedy Snatch, and as an executive producer of this goddamn show. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome Ms. Wanda Sykes. Well, just sit on down. I'm sitting down. You ready to play? Hey, everybody. Yes, I'm, of course I'm ready to play. All right, let's get seven minutes on the clock. All right, let me get 
Let's do this. Okay. Wanda Sykes. Yes, girl, how are you? I'm doing very well. You're one of the executive producers of this show. Uh, Drink I, on stage, three points. I've go. gotten very used to seeing you every day. What's been going on since I haven't seen you? Oh my God, I've been so busy, guy. I was um, recently, uh, I was in uh, Atlanta filming Bad Moms Atlanta. 2. Atlanta, Atlanta in the house, filming Bad points, Moms 2. Two you points. know, I was seen with Cheryl Hines and Kristen points. Bell. Name drop two points. Uh, you know, Mila Kunis is back. Name drop and, two points. Uh, you were getting you know, a yellow card Chris for excessive name dropping. Mm -hmm. Pace yourself, Sykes. Anyway. Um, yeah, so I was busy with them, and oh my God, I was, uh, I, I love cities where you can, you know, walking around, right? So I'm in Atlanta, and, uh, and, and I'm waiting to cr cross the street, and there's a, a, a bum, and there's this big, tall, good-looking white guy, right? Muscle-bound, and he had this, uh, this Doberman pincher. Like, right, right, and, and it was a, the, like the, the leather thick collar, whatever, and the dog was just like, Were you right, in a civil right. rights movie? No, no, it was not a civil rights movie. It was not. It was no <laughs> march protest or anything. It was just a guy with a dog across the street. And this bum comes up, right? Uh -huh. I, love, I love bums. Bums are the best. So uh, <laughs> this drunk bum comes up, and he just walks up to the dog, and the guy's like, hey, you know, like, watch, like, watch my dog. He, he's ferocious. Yeah. And, and the bum was like, hey, how you doing, buddy? And just, like, started <laughs> petting the dog. And the bum is, like, like right in the, the dog's face, and, like, oh, he's okay. And the guy's like, no, no. And the bum, like, just was, like, rubbing him and going, oh, Oh, he's a pussycat. He's a pussycat. And the dog, the guy looked so angry because he thought he had this attack killer dog. Yeah. And Joking the bum points. just broke his bitch ass dog down. <laughs> to like a poodle. Five. Like the bum's like, oh, who's got your tail? Who's got your tail? <laughs> 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 I bet you he put him down. He probably put him down. <laughs> Joking that two Probably. points. Call but back Wanda, three points. What do you what do you do when you finally have some time at home? Do you watch TV? Have you been watching this political stuff that's been going on? I I have. How can you not watch it? And uh, I, you know I'm watching uh, the 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 whole Comey thing, and uh, it's it's just ridiculous. Uh, the one of the thing I love about Comey is he said Lordy. If anybody, Joking that two points. anybody who says Lordy and you're under under oath, I'm, it's only I elderly it. Southern women, right? I believe he go, oh Lordy. I'm like, Joking I believe everything he says. I'm I'm going with it. Two points. He just said, oh Lordy. Aren't you at all disturbed by the fact that he's six eight? It's like he's a tree or something. I <laughs> like he seems frightening. I I I I like that he's that tall because it it was like he he doesn't give a damn. He's yeah. like I'm tall. I don't. I use this height. <laughs> I break you down. I will. Yes. Um, do you? Uh, are you a big fan of our current presidents? What? <laughs> Joke on that. Two points. Why would you even ask something like that? <laughs> I'm Joking a that, black points. gay woman. <laughs> what Balls could I points. possibly like about this current? Uh, I, I'm not even gonna use the phrase president. I, he's the he's the jackass in chief. <laughs> 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 Mm. Joke and laugh, two points. Pause break, two points. Drink on stage, three points. Political grandstanding, two points. It's, it's, it's ridiculous. His whole family sucks. They all, they're all <laughs> awful. Okay. They're Joking all that, awful. Do you know that, Tiff that, that uh, Tiffany Trunk I actually has secret service detail? I didn't know that she had his, his phone number. She uh, had, yeah. <laughs> Nobody cares if she goes missing. He doesn't even like her. Nobody <laughs> cares. Don't come out two points. Um, would you like to know my favorite part of family photos of the Trumps? What's that? The year that they all get a chin installed. Somewhere <laughs> between like 14 and 16, they all get like a defined they, chin. They get a chin. They do. They do. They all get a chin. All right. They're awful uh, people. Let's segue. Uh, okay. You have children of your own. Are they? I have children. They have chins. <laughs> They're Joking beautiful, out two points, strong, call back three points, mention children, uh, one point. Chins, they're amazing. Are they out for the summer? Not yet, school? not yet, not okay. yet. But we're um, we're going to, going to France uh, as usual uh, this summer and we're going to do a, we're gonna do a cruise. We're yeah, going we're gonna on a cruise. A, yeah, we're going to do a cruise. We're going to do um Are you um, just going to devastate some crab legs? Uh, crab legs? <laughs> yeah, that's what? what cruises are about, right? Really? Like ice and crab legs. Oh, good Lord. That's well, I don't know, but it's I know it's 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 Venice, Croatia, and Greece, and somewhere else. But all I know, I like this idea of a cruise because 
uh, I don't really have to pay attention to them much. <laughs> Because if my wife goes, hey, where are the kids? I'm like, they're somewhere on the boat. (laughs) Right? It's not like they jumped off. They're somewhere on the boat. They're they're here somewhere. So you're Wanda Sykes and you're on a cruise. Right. Will you go at 7.15 and just sit in the front row of the comedy show and stare at the bad cruise (laughs) comic? Yes. I will. I will. That would, I will do that. Honestly, it's intimidating enough just having you here. Um, <laughs> you've been doing a lot of press Drink for uh, for your new movie, mm-hmm. um, and that's been. Have you been having fun? Yes, yes. I've, I've been out uh, promoting Snatch. You know, with Amy Schumer. Plug and clap two for points. the movie. Name Goldie Hawn. Name drop two points. And Joan Cusack. Name drop two points. You're getting another yellow card for excessive name hell. dropping. <laughs> Pushed it, pushed it too far. Yeah, we had we had a great time shooting a movie, and you know I'm just so grateful. That I get to work in all these amazing locations when I'm doing a film. You know, I was in Humble Hawaii, brag, two points. <laughs> you know, and uh, working with these amazing people. It's just wonderful. And, and extended to work Humble with brag, you, two points. The guy. <laughs> It's amazing. Um, um, so you are one of the champions of season one of Talk Show, the game show. Yes. Again, clap. I am. Um, Claws break two points. Do you have advice for like future players, both in the green room and in the audience, young people who hope to one day come and compete on this stage themselves? Um, make sh- you have to have your beverage of choice. That's important. That scores points. And um, drink on stage, three points. And Interview the, while clearly drunk, two points. And <laughs> and, um, and you know what? Like wow the people. Like look, I'm gonna perform a magic trick. A trick right here. Look, see this guy? Look at that. Watch this. That is a t- okay. Texas shot glass. That's a Texas shot glass. Full of vodka. Okay. And I'm gonna put this over here. Uh huh. All right. The little magic, you have to say the magic words. Uh huh. Abracadabra. <laughs> Joke and lap, two points. Magic trick, five Gone. points. It disappeared. Drink on stage, three points. Again, interview while we're on It's time. It's time. <laughs> Oh, boy. Wanda Sykes, dazzling play. I was there at the last question. I was like, I'm gonna have to cycle back to the Vegas story she didn't give us. You I finished know, beautifully the Vegas on story. time. I f- I, yeah, I skipped the Vegas story. Oh my god. I know, but do you ever get sad that talk shows are so easy for you to be good at now that you don't have to work? No, they're they are not easy. It's not. It's not. You really you know, put some mm-hmm. effort into it. Yeah. I saw I, you uh, backstage I, at Wendy Williams. That doesn't seem like a lot of efforts. <laughs> But that was, that, yeah. It's Wendy. Well, it's Wendy. It's Wendy. All you uh, got to do, you know, Wendy, she, she's going to talk about somebody, and you go, girl, you right. <laughs> or, <laughs> and you just got to go, how you doing? And well, Wanda, easy breezy. you're always a blessing. Wanda, but what I think you. doesn't matter, let's go to the judges. Let's see what they think. Karen Kilgariff, how do you think Wanda Sykes did? Listen, um, it's you Wanda's- love a bum story, Karen. Oh, Come my on. God. I love bums. I think... <laughs> The term might be problematic. I felt uh-huh. a, I felt a bit of a tightening in the audience. Yeah. I didn't realize this is like a little San Francisco situation oh. here. So okay. just something to be aware of in the future. You could perhaps call them uh, indigent, what, but that's that's not right. People either, of it? outdoors. Yes. The, uh, so I like an, that. Out, an outdoorsy out, guy. An outdoorsy, outdoorsy guy. Type. Yeah, that would be good. Uh, although at the same time, I think if you made a shirt that said a shirt that said "I love bums," they would sell really well. Um, <laughs> I loved your entrance; it was fun and kicky. You were like a fun mom at a wedding, dancing, Aww. dancing with fist hands. Um, <laughs> you know, you just have a great vibe when you're on panel. Uh, that story about your cruise, uh, Venice. Croatia, where else were you? Greece. Greece yeah. I mean, that's impressive. It's like, was that vacation or are you shooting the new Jason Bourne movie? What's, <laughs> what story are you telling me right now? Um, you actually use the term, you know, I'm just so grateful, which is talk show paneling 101. I mean, the, the woman is an expert. So I gave her an eight. Eight points. You, Karen. I'll take uh, I'm very grateful. Mr. Casey Schreiner, how do you think Wanda did? I mean, that's expert play. Uh, I I don't know how you define it any other way. From the very beginning of coming out, 
uh, acknowledging the audience, feeding the audience energy, and then sucking that energy back <laughs> into your body <laughs> to give it back to them in expert play is mm. just a stunning thing to watch. Essentially um, the Liza Minnelli of sitting in a puppy mm. chair. Mm. Yes, mm -hmm. yes, or some, sign, some kind of succubus type thing with talk show entertainment. Mm. Uh, it was just it, with the, the grandstanding, the drinking, the sip punctuation all at once, that final uh, four-time international travel reference riff with the magic trick. I didn't know there was a Tiffany Trump uh, <laughs> and, and, until you said that. Uh, so I learned something. Uh, there you go. And when I learn something, I give out points. Yes. You get a 10. 10 Thank points. <laughs> Claude, please tell Wanda her score. Carried it three. <laughs> I'm trying to draw it off fancy, but uh, Wanda is currently leading with a score of 125. Oh, 125 snap. points. What? <laughs> what? <laughs> Cent vingt, no, what is that? Cent vingt cinq. Mm. Uh, that's that's uh, French. <laughs> <laughs> Um, Wanda, in these last moments of sobriety that you have, um, would you I like know, to... I know, I, I, I didn't pace and didn't... <laughs> I, I should have had two more slices of brisket before I started this. Wanda, uh, would you like the chance to earn up to 10 more points in a bonus game? Yes! Hell yeah! Let's play a bonus game. Let's play the bonus game, guys. Wanda, your bonus game is called Anything We Can Do to Make Your Stay More Pleasant. Okay. In the film Snatch, you play a tourist in a fabulous vacation destination. I'm gonna give you the names of some vacation destinations. You have to tell me some things I should check out while I'm staying there. Okay. You'll, you'll be judged on the following three factors. Vividness of language, variety of activities, and blandness of smiles. Uh, blandness of smile. I'm pretty blandness drunk too. Blandness of <laughs> smile? Yeah, blandness of smile, like a bland, mm, no, Okay, yes. all right. Okay, gotcha. Wanda, are you ready to play? Yes. Let's get six, uh, 60 seconds on the clock. Let's do this. Wanda Sykes, Chechnya. What oh, should I check out in Chechnya? The rebels. <laughs> <laughs> They're amazing. They're amazing? Yeah, and on Wednesday, they do a pickup game. <laughs> and uh, a little basketball, so go check them out. Do you know of any good gay bars in Chechnya? Uh, 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 it's, yeah, it's called Shut Up, Don't <laughs> Tell Anybody. OK, OK. I think it's called This Will Get Us Killed. <laughs> Next location, Morgantown, West Virginia. What should I check out in Morgantown, West Morgantown, Virginia? West Virginia. Yes. Uh, wow. Um, you know, a lot of people, they, they fall for the old, hey, let's go count teeth. <laughs> <laughs> Only molars. <laughs> Only molars. That's the fun thing to do. Oh, wait, what about Austin, Texas? What should I do here in Austin, Texas? Oh, here in Austin, Texas, you know, everybody, they, 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 uh, they, they tell you to go uh, watch the bats fly out. Uh -huh. Oh, it's all about the bats. That, that's, that's bullshit, because uh, <laughs> especially with hair like mine, I hide from the bats. Yeah. Oh, I'm sorry, that. that's time. <laughs> Casey Schreiner, how did Wanda do in her bonus game? Uh, I think she did really well. Uh, again, because it's an American audience, we don't know anything about geography, so you could have said anything and it would have been fine. Mm -hmm. um, the fact that you were able to dodge some pretty heavy topics in there and still make them entertaining was great. Um, I did go see the bats yesterday. Um, it was okay. Exactly. <laughs> Eight points. Thank you, Casey. Thank you. All right, Claude, why don't you tell Wanda what her total score is now? It's 133. I don't know what you're doing. <laughs> I know. All, Lord. It's 133. <laughs> Her name, her name is Carol. No, it's, it's, it's not Carol, it is That's what Kate. I said, I didn't have my mic on. Okay. Um, okay. All right, 133 uh, points. 33. All right, move on down, Wanda Sykes, because our next guest is a venerable actor and director who is in Argo, the OC, and yes, was the voice of Disney's Hercules. Please welcome Mr. Tate Donovan. No, do that in competitive play, Tate. Wait, wait. Don't do that right now. Do it in competitive play. <laughs> Sit down. Let's put let's put time on the clock, okay? All right, all right. I'm sorry. You. Jesus. Tate, Tate Donovan, are you ready to play talk show the game show? <laughs> I feel so. I I am. Okay. Let's get seven minutes on the clock. 
Let's go. Hey, Tate, do you have something for me? Hey, yeah. <laughs> I, uh, you know, I, uh, there's this thing that's called Fredericksburg Peaches. Have you heard about them? Oh. Yeah. What are Applause Fredericksburg Peaches? Give gift to host They're awesome points. peaches from a town called Fredericksburg. Here you go. Pandering. Mm. It's terrible, I know. <laughs> They're small, but tasty. Sort of like, yeah. Tate, I grew up next to a peach farm in uh -oh. Northern California, and may I say, flavorful, underripe. <laughs> it's it's okay, a bit not, crisp. Yeah. Keep them in the bag for like a day. It's too late. I already bit into it. I'm a fat man, Tate. Uh, you give me a piece of fruit. I'm sorry. I'm gonna bite sorry. into it. Okay. Um, Tate, so you're like officially in Austin right now, as we can all tell from the sheer amount of denim that you're wearing. <laughs> <laughs> How are you liking it? I'm liking it a lot. It's a good town. It's a good town. You should come back. Um, I've been here like three times this spring. I, <laughs> I have never actually gotten barbecue from Franklin's Barbecue. No. Every time I come here, I go there and they're like, we have no more barbecue. Franklin's is pranking all of you. <laughs> what do you, what do you I've love? I've never been to Franklin's. I'm telling you. Yeah, because you, you can't wait on the line. Who has, you have to wait like five hours to get on that. Yeah, 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 yeah. There's break two points. fine barbecue that you can have now just like a block away. Right. But what do you love about Austin? I love uh, the food besides the, you know, the barbecue. Uh, I love the music. There's some awesome music here. And I, I like Barton Springs. It's about the best swimming hole closer to a city than ever existed. Tate, did you know that pools exist? <laughs> <laughs> Um, Swimming no. holes are better, man. They're, they're better. Um, why do you end up moving here? Down by the cement pond. <laughs> <laughs> Joke him after points for Wanda. Um, I, got, I got married uh, to you a got woman married. from Austin. Yeah. Applause break, two points. And uh, I've been we've been dating for eight years, and I've been going back and forth to Austin a thousand times. And I was like, Gosh, we should just, let's just move here. But what's it like moving from like homosexual liberal left coast Los Angeles <laughs> to Texas? It's tough. It's hard. It's hard for sure. I mean, um, I've never lived in a city that has so many Republicans in it. I mean, I know Austin is like, oh, it's a blueberry in a red state. But let me tell you something, man. Joking you go points. like, I don't know, three miles south or north. <laughs> about two points. And there's some serious Republicans there. I mean, it's, it's intense. Laugh one point. Uh, you're saying I should avoid those places. Yes. <laughs> stay that's, stay in right in this area. That's fair. That's fair. Now, you have a ridiculously long IMDb page. Um, I feel like you're cheating by acting and directing. <laughs> how, did you, how did you get into directing? Uh, I was on the OC uh, for a bit. and um, Plug project, two points. That, that was fun. Pause break, two points. Uh, but I, uh, starring uh, Peter Gallagher and um, name drop two points. Kelly name Rowan two points. and Ben name McKenzie, two points. my name God. Name drop two points, name drop two points. You're getting a yellow card for excessive name dropping. Oh, come on, it was three. Ta and <laughs> they're not even that famous. Tate, focus. <laughs> you are getting a yellow card for failure to respect the judges and judging panel. <laughs> So, so what else have you directed other than the OC? Oh, um, I don't know. I, I directed a, a, a documentary for um, ESPN that won an Emmy. Oh, that's uh, exciting! Yeah, it's about it was about Arthur Ashe and points, his brother. Humble brag, two points. Uh, it's oh. called Arthur and Johnny. It's good. Plug it's project, good two points. How project. did how did you get into that? I was directing a television show, and um, a, a producer came up to me and said, "Are you interested in directing?" It's a really boring story, but. Uh, <laughs> I, no, I'm please sorry. keep going. I'm sorry I went there. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, you, do, you got to direct Damages, is that correct? Yes, I uh, did a bunch of Damages, yeah. Bloodline. Uh, Falls break, two um, points. Blood Project, uh, two points. Glee, Weeds. I don't Blood care about Weeds. Points. Go Blood back to Glenn Close. Points. Tell me, what's uh, Glenn, Glenn Close, Close like? She was, she was intense. She's is fantastic. Is she made of stone? She's, she's tough. Okay. The very first day I was directing her, uh, I was totally nervous and excited, and I was like, you know, I'd thought about this whole thing for hours and days, and I, you know, she came to the set, and I was like, oh, so anyway, so what we're gonna do in the scene here, you're gonna be here, and Rose, you're gonna be there, and we're gonna put the cameras here, and she went, shut up! <laughs> shut up! Joke him out. Shut points. up! <laughs> and so I like, I like slinked back to the, to the, my director's chair, and I, you know, I was like, looking at the monitor, and I was like, Action. <laughs> Joke him out, two points. And she, you know, proceeded to give me a performance that I, you know, wow. blew my mind. And I was like, oh, God, she's right. I should just shut up. It's, 
joking it's about Glenn Close's show. Conference. Just collect your paycheck. Yeah, just shut up. Yeah. <laughs> um, so y you've been on like a ridiculous volume of things. I know I keep mentioning it. Um, we all love Love Potion number nine. Um, <laughs> but what is your favorite of those IMDb credits? My favorite? Oh, Jesus Christ. That's tough. That's tough. Argo was a blast yes. to make with Ben Affleck. Yeah. Name drop two points. And uh, Brian Cranston, points. who Blood I worked with uh, just recently, again, uh -huh. in a film with Kevin Hart called Name Untouchables. Plug uh -huh. Project, two points. <laughs> Sweet. French version is better, I'm sure. <laughs> yeah, I know, I know. It probably take, is, but what take, are you going to do? Tell us about Magnum P.I. All uh, we worry yeah. about is Magnum P.I. Yeah, I know. That also, was awesome. That was an incredible experience, although every time I think about it, I wince because. First of all, how old were I was, you? I was like, how old I are was 19. You? <laughs> <laughs> I'm, joking, laugh, two I'm points, lie 28. Two points. <laughs> and I was 19 when I did Magnum. Um, no, so I, um, I did. I, I, I was. Uh, I feel so, it's terrible. It's terrible. I, I, I did Magnum PI when I was going to college, and uh, I had a great time. Tom Selleck is so awesome. I got to drive his. His um, Ferrari, points. you know, and I actually uh, had Brack, to imitate points. him. I, had to I was his nephew, and I had to pretend I was him, and I put on a fake mustache, and it was ridiculous. So uh, I go, and then I get this movie called Space Camp, which is. <laughs> no. what project you don't point? understand. Take, 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 stop everything. What's <laughs> Olivia Dabo really like? <laughs> Olivia Dabo? Who, I, she, she's not in that movie. Yes, she is. She's in Space Camp. No, she's not. You're thinking of Leah Thompson. No, you're thinking of Kelly Preston. I am thinking of Kelly yes. Preston. Yes. <laughs> she's awesome. She Guy, you are getting a yellow card for failure to know things a person should know. Yeah. Yay, Fair. thank you. Fair. But Olivia Davo's awesome. Uh, but anyway. <laughs> stop, um, stop pandering At to kissing. Me. Okay. What? <laughs> no, really? I know. I have two points. Um, <laughs> can I finish the story? No, please. 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 It's a good story. Just getting warmed up. I was just. All right, finish the story very quickly outside of competitive play. We all want to hear. Oh, okay. So um, I, I did this terrible movie, Space Camp, and I thought I was going to be a huge movie star. <laughs> I thought I was going to be huge. And so a couple months later, uh, they, 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 my, um, my agent calls me and says, Look, they want you to come back on, um, on uh, Magnum PI. And I'm like, hey, I'm sorry, I can't do it. <laughs> I'm not going to do TV. Uh, and they're like, no, I mean, it's just like one episode, it'll be fine. No, oh, no, 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 I can't, yeah, I'm sorry. So I get, like, two days later, I get, the phone rings, and it's my landline in Los Angeles, and Tom Selleck is on the end of the line. And he goes, hey, man, congratulations, I hear you're doing a great big movie, and uh, you're going to be a huge star, but, you know, we're having our favorite people come back, and, you know, just come back and do a show, it'd be really quick and fun, and you know, it's in Hawaii, you know, it's how bad could it be? And I'm like, Sorry, Tom. <laughs> I can't do it. I just can't. <laughs> he goes, yeah, I know. You know, and he was so sweet. He was so nice. And I was like, yeah, sorry, man. <laughs> and uh, to this day, I just wince. And I've seen him. I've seen him. Um, I did Friends, and he was on Friends. And Tate, and the game is over, OK? <laughs> no, no, no. <laughs> And I, I, I literally, I can't Tate. look him in the eye. I'm so embarrassed. I should go up to him. I, I should write him a letter or something. <laughs> Just be like, I am He's so sorry. He's probably watching this Facebook Live right now. <laughs> Tom, send, send, I am send, send so him a message sorry. Right now. Send him a message. <laughs> I was an asshole. Release that shame. Release it. Go ahead. <laughs> All right. Thank you. Tate Donovan, let me say, if my... 13 or so years in comedy have just been progressing to a point where I can make a real live rom-com leading man pretend to be nice to me for seven minutes. It has all been worth it. <laughs> <laughs> this was... Me too. How do you think it went? I thought I started uh, not well. Uh -huh. And then... Uh, uh, well, Look, like I'm going to be knees, honest. I thought that was pretty good. I, I negged the peaches more than I should have. They're actually quite good. Yeah, they're pretty good. <laughs> Um, but what, I thought you were great, Tate, but let's check in with the judges, okay? Yeah, yeah. Karen Kilgariff, how do you think Tate Donovan did? Hey, listen. Um, <laughs> Tate Donovan, you're so famous to me. <laughs> um, you came out with a bag, a brown bag of peaches, which is about as down home as you can be on a talk show. 
And I don't know if you actually saw a guy's face, but he was genuinely charmed in a way that I have never seen you be in your life, guy. I'm not a particularly genuine person. <laughs> <laughs> and you're hard to charm. But man, three peaches really did it. Um, <laughs> I have to be honest, I, um, I mean, that was amazing. It was amazing play. You've clearly had a lot of experience on talk shows. You know how to be yourself. You know how to be comfortable. You know how to wear all denim. Um, I wanted to hate you because I once read in an article that you broke Sandra Bullock's heart. And... That is so not true. Okay, well, I mean... Okay. But Sandy said it is. Relationships are complicated. <laughs> all right? Look. When Sandy cries, I cry, so. <laughs> but then the thing is, I just couldn't do it, and even if I did, by the time you told that Glenn Close story, I was deeply in love with you, so. I'm going to give you a 10. 10 points! <laughs> Lead judge Casey Schreiner, how do you think Tate did strategically? Uh, you said you started out not well. That's correct. <laughs> um, you, you sort of came out, uh, we were talking about how you're a Texan now, but it was so boring when you were talking about Texas. However, when we got to your IMDB page, it was like the birth of Venus on stage. <laughs> you came alive. You are still an Angelino, I'm sorry to say. Um, that's not necessarily a bad thing. Uh, but for, for the overall, you really did bring it back uh, towards the end of, the, uh, end of your segment. I thought it was really great play. You, very came, you, you came very, very close to going to the penalty box with all that name dropping and plugging, but the stories were great. The guy was excessively charmed. Uh, I'm giving you a seven for this. Claude, can you tell us Tate's score? I can. Tate is coming in second with a 97. 97 uh, points. Wanda's got 135. She got two points during his interview. But Tate, you do have the opportunity to earn up to 10 more points for the bonus game. You want to do it? Yeah, yeah. All right, totally. let's do it. Tate, your bonus game is called Jersey Strong. You live in Texas now, but you're originally from New Jersey. I will show you a series of New Jersey icons. You have to tell me what the rest of the world is getting wrong about them. You will be judged on the following three factors. White ethnicity, loudness, and tanness of forearms. <laughs> Tate Donovan, are you ready? I feel ready. Let's get 60 seconds on the clock. Let's begin. All right, off ramps. Oh, fuck. The turnpike. It, it really, it doesn't smell good on exit 13 till around uh, 12, but... <laughs> Um, it goes through the entire state. All right, next. Guidos. Uh, you know, whatever. A lot of hair gel. They're funny. I don't Give know. them a fair <laughs> shot. They're super hot and on steroids, Tate. That's true. All right, they next. Governor Chris Christie. Oh, God. <laughs> what a fucking guy. Uh, you you know. got a problem with fat guys in suits, Tate? <laughs> <laughs> No, uh, that guy I do. Yeah, okay, yeah. next. Ump. Jersey Bangs. Jersey Bangs, yeah. I, went, I dated that woman, actually. <laughs> <laughs> All right, next. All right, uh, Teresa Judice of the Real Housewives of New Jersey. Oh, my God. <laughs> it's like, uh, I, 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 never, I don't watch that show. I don't know. Oh, it's a really good show. She okay. went bankrupt, and she overturned a table and said, prostitution whore. It's <laughs> <laughs> very good. Next. The Paramus Mall. Yes. Oh, I'm sorry, that's time. Ah, <laughs> oh, fuck. Uh, I got case. my, uh, my uh, prom tux from there. You should have said that before the I'm time. I'm sorry. You, you <laughs> Casey, how do you think Tate did? Um, unfortunately, Tate, you did not do New Jersey any favors with that. Four points. That's right, four points. <laughs> All right, so let's check the score. Uh, Tate is now at 101 points. 101 points. All right, move on down, because our final guest is a beloved comedian. No, I'm, I'm oh. yeah, Wanda goes to the third one. Have you never done this before? <laughs> our final guest is a beloved comedian and actor you know from Parks and Rec, Neon Joe Werewolf Hunter, and his new true TV series, John Glazer Loves Gear. Please welcome Mr. John Glazer. And... Could I, could I get another drink, please? 
Wanda needs another vodka soda, please. <laughs> I meant it to win it. <laughs> Just saying. Thank you. Thank you, handsome. Thank you. Uh, Mr. Thank Glazer. You, handsome man. Yes. Do you want to play Talk Show the Game Show? I'm ready, guy. All right, let's get seven minutes on the clock. Let's begin. John, right, before we start, I just want to say I also have a really good uh, Glenn Close story when I was hearing. Um, I was on a flight from uh, New York to Los Angeles to pitch something with uh, Will Arnett, the uh, comedian actor. And she said, shut up, shut <laughs> up, shut up. Call back Almost. three points for Tate. Uh, she was, uh, she, we, were, we were flying in first class. We were being flown out by a studio for this pitch. Humble she was up in points. first class with us, and Will was making a very funny John, joke. John, set the picture for me. Which studio? <laughs> Uh, it was for Fox. Okay. And West side, not that nice. Yeah. Keep going. So we were noticing there was a, uh, a steward in our cabin, and he kept walking by, and Will was making a very funny joke about Glenn trying to get this steward's attention and not, and finally going, you know, grabbing him and saying, I will not be ignored, Dan. Because <laughs> I think his name Joking actually was points. Dan. Oh, that's wonderful. <laughs> it was pretty funny. Anecdote five uh, points. Did he share this with Glenn? No, it was a private joke between us, and perhaps if the opportunity presents itself, I shall tell her the story, and then she'll tell me to shut up. <laughs> oh, <laughs> joke that's about two fun. Points. Or not. Now, John, did I notice that you had a, a discreet hat box? Yes, you did notice that, and there is something lovely. I brought you a Neon Joe care package. Oh! From Neon Joe Werewolf Hunter, one of the shows. Now, here is Gift not one, points. but two. <laughs> <laughs> well, first, yeah. Claws break two points. Does he or does he not look stunning in this cowboy hat? You should for sure wear cowboy hats all the time. John Glazer, my entire life has been an attempt to get away from this as a culture. <laughs> um, when it's a true, authentic cowboy hat from here in Texas and it's neon, it's a whole different story. This is a Gorin Brothers box. They're from Brooklyn, I think. <laughs> it was given to me backstage. Uh, <laughs> Joking laugh, two points. Um, now also in the box, there are two comic books, very exclusive, hard to find items, Neon Joe, comics from DC Comics. They made these promo comics. If I may hold one up and show the audience how stunning these are. This Please, is from the be first, my guest. This is from the first season. Just beautiful Ooh. artwork. And look Gift at this beautiful, points. stunning cover by this guy named Alex Malie. Gift to host four points. He's a major Name comic book points. artist at the second cover. And it's just beautiful. Beautiful. It's very fine artwork. And now tell us about the origins of Neon Joe, please, Mr. Glazer. Yeah, Neon Joe came about as a total joke. I was on the Jimmy Fallon talk show. Uh huh. And this is before it became the Tonight Show when he was at 12:30, and I was there to promote the season finale. Did he tussle finale. your hair at all? He did not tussle okay. my hair. He tried to tussle my pubes, and I said, <laughs> "Let's not do Joking that." Two yeah. Uh, so we didn't. Okay. Uh, but I was there to promote the series finale of one of these shows I created and was in called Delocated. On adult Plus project, Twitter. two points. Claws break, two points. And just to amuse myself, I thought I would dress in a stupid outfit, and I wore these Coors Light sweatpants <laughs> that I Joking actually owned points. for a comedy bit I had done in this neon hoodie, and I just made up a joke that, yeah, I'm sad, delocated, done, but I'm here to promote my new show. It's called Neon Joe Werewolf Hunter. There was no show. It was a total joke. And Adult Swim kind of called my bluff and said, we know that was a, a joke, but that sounds like a show we'd make. And they said, why don't you write a pilot? And I did. <laughs> and now we've Joking made two, two seasons of the show. John. Anecdote, five points. Yeah. White two privilege. Points. Thank you. White privilege. Yes. <laughs> being, a, being a heterosexual white male seems amazing. Also, someone spray painted this, and I'm essentially huffing it right now. <laughs> uh, <laughs> Uh, but you're, these you're, are delicious, by the way, whoever made these. The uh, Moscow Mule is one of my favorite drinks, and the jalapeno inside is a fantastic touch. Compliments. <laughs> oh, that's lovely. Um, John, you're very busy these days. It's nice that you're getting an opportunity to relax, but what sort of things are you busy with? Uh, I've been, well, lately I was busy. I was in Chicago doing a comedy festival. So you were in Chicago, Nation the city, city or musical? Uh, I was in the city. Okay. And I drove by where the musical was. I actually had this really shitty moment of getting to Chicago. I got my start there in improv. Uh, really excited to be there. Hadn't, it'd been a little while. I'm pulling up to my hotel, make a left, and there's the fucking Trump shitty fucking tower <laughs> right in front of my face. It was like, the trip is ruined. Oh. <laughs> Joking about two points, political grandstanding. But it was points. very fun. I got to see Second City in I.O. and did a comedy show with Eugene Merman, if you know Bob's Burgers. 
Uh, we Rick went and saw points. Christopher Guest, which was very cool. Name and then uh, went to Wrigley Field, which was always a great time. One of the most beautiful ballparks Balls in Major League points. Baseball. I'm a gay man. I don't care about sports. <laughs> From an architectural standpoint, it's beautiful. I don't care about architecture Joking, either. Points. More into ethnic food and blowjobs. <laughs> um, but you have a new show coming out on True. Tell everybody about it. Yes, it'll be the second season of a show called John Glazer Loves Gear. It's basically uh -huh. a fake. Like Project very much. Two Points, pause break Two Points. It's all rooted in a real place. I genuinely love gear, and then it's all fake. Uh, John Hodgman, who you might know from Daily Name Show, is hey, the voice of my unpack, phone. Unpack that for us. You really love gear, but it's all fake. Explain that to me. I love gear. It's sort of a full reality show. Most of it is scripted. Okay. But it's all rooted in a genuine place. Okay. Yes. So what sort of gadgets and stuff speak to you most? It ran the gamut the first season. There's a lot of sports stuff, a lot of outdoorsy stuff. I already but we talked also, to you about sports, okay? <laughs> but we did do a scene about uh, I was on my own. My wife and kids are out of town, so I went. I got wasted and went to a sex shop and got a uh, masturbation machine, uh -huh. which I then lowered from a drone onto my dick. Or attempted to, but as it was coming down, I got too sad that my kids were and my wife was out of town, and I started crying. <laughs> Joke and laugh, two points. Were those Mention tears real point. or scripted? They were a little bit of both. Oh, that's beautiful. That's I could beautiful. easily just, I will tell stories about my children and start crying. Um, and you, you had some pretty great... You uh, can say awe if you want and give me <laughs> some points. Thank you. Make audience all one point. <laughs> uh, uh, you had some pretty amazing guest stars on season one. Yes, well, Paul Rudd was in... Paul name Rudd has been in the points. pilot You're getting all... a yellow card for excessive name dropping. <clears throat> you... I was simply answering a question. I don't even understand <laughs> what I possibly just did, except answer a question and tell a, a name of a celebrity that was in the show. You've worked with Paul Rudd a lot, though, right? Well, he was killed in the pilot of... I've made three TV shows, two for Adult Swim, one for True, and Paul has been killed in the pilot of every episode. <laughs> the pilot Talking episode of every show. But Paul Rudd already has a great career. Have you ever considered killing a newcomer? Perhaps if in this second season of John Glazer Loves Gear, we'll consider it because Paul's already been killed oh. in the first season. Well, you could do a retcon situation where you have some sort of like change of the world mythos like they do. Uh, maybe the timeline change and there's a new Paul Rudd. Done. We're doing it. <laughs> <laughs> I'll die for you. True to... Uh, I'd love to die for you. Great. Don't you have enough credits, Donovan? <laughs> But who else have you who else have you had on the show? Uh, let's see. Donovan well, should get a point, Casey. Four. That joke. Oh, oh, I'm sorry, oh, that's time. Yeah. Uh, he jumped let's, in. Let's, let's, let's he, give he Tay really two, two points for the joke and laugh. Okay. Yeah, yeah. All right. I, lo I love the way Wanda is pushing the refs. It's very exciting. <laughs> John Glazer, you came out here. You had two very contentious competitors already on stage. Uh, I thought you played a, a, a great game, but it was Thank a rough you. game. A lot of people throwing stuff at you. How do you feel about it? I felt, you know, considering that I was in the third slot, I think I held my own. Uh, and I think I did fucking great. <laughs> um, I thought you did amazing as well, though, as a gay man, I'm not used to working with a third slot. Um, <laughs> we pretty much just got the two. Um, but you can create a third <laughs> slot. Colostomies. <laughs> I should not have said that. Gunshot wound. <laughs> gunshot wound to the thigh. Uh, Brand new orifice. Uh, but Johnny, let's see what the judges think, okay? Okay. Karen, how do you think John Glazer did artistically? Um, well, I'd like to say I think that so many Facebooks just turned off at that uh, last run of comedy. Good, thank you. You're welcome. <laughs> Grandmas would be like, oh, I liked it up until then. <laughs> Colostomy bag. Um, John, you came in with the confidence, the low-key confidence of a dot-com billionaire at a Lakers game. You just, <laughs> you just, you know what you're doing, and you've done all this before, and it feels great to watch you. That gift, I mean, it, that, that could cure a divided America. Uh, that, you wearing a neon cowboy hat, that's an, that's, that's politics in action right there. Um, Agree. Everything about what you did was great, except for right up Holding until up the end. Holding up a zero. Yeah. <laughs> so fuck you. <laughs> um, <laughs> uh, no, I was enjoying it quite a bit. I'm going to give you a seven. All right. Seven points, everybody. Yeah. yeah. Casey Schreiner, how do you think John Glazer did uh, strategically? Um, I, I think John did pretty well. Um, in, in, in addition to being the lead judge of Talk Show the Game Show, I'm also the unofficial historian of Talk Show the Game Show. So uh, it is one of the best gifts, and I want you to know that you got points for mentioning your children 
while telling a story about using a drone to lower a masturbation machine onto your genitals. That pretty much sums up the show. I hope you're happy with that. Seven I am, points. thank you. Seven points! Uh, Claude, what is, uh, what is John Glazer's score? John Glazer's score is 100. Uh, Tate, Tate Donovan's score went up, scored went up to 106, and Wanda is still at 135. It's a barn burner, you guys. Wow. John Glazer, so I need you are six round. points. You are six points behind right now. Wow. You have one more chance to earn up to ten points in regulation play. Are you ready for this bonus game? Uh, yes, I am. All right, John, your bonus game is called Jew or Not Jew Texas Edition. <laughs> Adherents of our shared Hebraic faith have spread to all parts of the world. I will show you a prominent Texan. You have to tell me if you think said Texan is Jew. Not a Jew, and most exp importantly, explain why. Okay. You will be judged on the following three factors. Paranoia, neediness, and size of hat. <laughs> Are you ready to play, John Glazer? Yeah. Am I looking right there? Let's get 60 seconds on the clock. Let's begin. Renee Zellweger, Jew or not Jew? Not Jew. Why? Talk us through it. Uh, just way too waspy. Uh, she looks just, well, now I'm feeling maybe she is a Jew, just with this look <laughs> on her face. Uh, I'm gonna say, yeah, not a Jew, too waspy. Not Jew, that's correct. Next up, Ross Perot, billionaire oh. Ross Perot, small and opinionated. I mean, right there could be a Jew, uh, but I'm gonna say, don't get, don't get upset at that. <laughs> <laughs> We're playing Jew, not Jew. Not Jew, not a Jew for Why? sure. Hardcore, Why? not Why? Jew. Why? Just that buzz cut and the attitude and the voice. That's correct, next. <laughs> Star Trek's Brent Spiner from Houston. Jew or not Jew? I'm going Jew on him. Just look at the, <laughs> look at the, the schnoz, which is a nose. Uh, the hair, the look, the eye, the Jewish eyes. <laughs> That's correct. Next up, Jennifer Love Hewitt. Jew or not Jew? Uh, I'm gonna go Jew. Why? Uh, just just a, a, a sensual Jewess sensuality Big about naturals, her. big naturals is what you're saying. I'm sorry, that's time. <laughs> Jennifer Love Hewitt, not a Jew. <laughs> Did I get enough? <laughs> I don't think I did. Casey Schreiner, how do you but think maybe I'm John wrong. Glazer did on his bonus game? John, you did it. Oh! oh! <laughs> Eight points. All right, you guys, now is the tough but necessary moment when we eliminate our third place competitor. Tate Donovan, tonight you may not have won talk show the game show but you at least won my heart. <laughs> and, sorry, this container of off-brand laundry pods. <laughs> Actually, you should present it to him. Tate Donovan, no, you can't take that orange, it's part of our set. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, Tate Donovan. All right, you guys. I'm very surprised. I for sure thought I lost. I know. Stop bragging. <laughs> poor, poor Tate Donovan is crying in his laundry pods right he now. That. I really can't believe All right, you guys. Uh, Claude, at the end of regulation play, can you remind us of everyone's scores? Wanda is currently in the lead at 135, followed by John at 108. But Claude, did you know that it is still anyone's game because it's time for the lightning round? I did know that or else there wouldn't be a show. Claude, <laughs> distribute the buzzers! <laughs> Should I scoot, scoot down? Guy, what? let me scoot down. What? You, I'm gonna I don't care. I'm gonna make an executive decision. Yes. And I'm gonna scoot down. Ladies and gentlemen, <laughs> I hold in my hand 15 questions. Each of these questions is worth 10 points. I'm going to read these questions. Get out of the way. I'm going to read these questions. If you have an answer, buzz in. I will call on you, and then you can answer. If you get it right, you get 10 points. If not, I'll ask the other person. John Glazer, are you ready to play? Yes, I am. Wanda Sykes, are you ready to play? Hell to the year. <laughs> Karen, who do you think is taking this whole thing home? What, say it again? Who, who's going to win? Who's taking this whole thing home? Oh, you know, I think that Glazer just got a taste of glory at the uh -huh. end of that, be, you know, making the cut. And I think that before he thought this was just kind of a funny, dumb thing, and now he's out for blood. He wants so it. I think he it might it. be John Glazer. I also yeah, I really want you do. to know that I'm shit faced. Right now. <laughs> Casey, 
Casey, who do you think is going to win? I mean, I agree with everything Karen just said, but clearly Wanda Sykes is winning this. She's uh, Wanda Sykes. Yeah. yeah. All right, let's get five minutes on the clock. Let's do this. Question one. June is Pride Month. Who is too proud? Wanda Sykes. Miley Cyrus. Ten points. <laughs> Question, question two. This week, James Comey testified that Donald Trump pressured him to stop the Russia investigation. For 10 points, how much do you weigh? John Glazer. 161. 10 points. <laughs> uh, question three. British Prime Minister Theresa May is clinging to power after a failed snap election. How should I accessorize a navy blue skirt suit? Wanda Sykes. Pearls, bitch. <laughs> <laughs> 10 points. On this day in 1940, Norway surrendered to the Nazis during World War II. Where did Donald and Melania Trump get engaged? John Glazer. Uh, in a uh, Slovenian uh, synagogue. <laughs> uh, the answer I was looking for was her previous owner's kennel, but I'll accept that. <laughs> Question five, MTV is bringing back the series My Super Sweet 16. Where did Ed Sheeran lose his virginity? Wanda. Somewhere in Motown where he tastes all his music. <laughs> <laughs> 10 points. <laughs> question, question six, Caitlyn Jenner is no longer speaking to Kim Kardashian. Name a city in the Sudan. <laughs> Wanda Sykes. Hot as fuck. <laughs> 10 points. June 20th is the longest day of the year. What is the second longest day of the year? What is the second longest day of the year? I'm sorry, we were... Wanda, do you have an answer? Today. <laughs> no, I'm sorry. The answer is the day your mom tells you how her finger is doing since the surgery. <laughs> Question A, Amy Schumer broke up with her furniture designer boyfriend. What would you make an ottoman out of? What could you turn into a fun ottoman? John Glazer, Wanda Sykes. <laughs> I'm sorry, uh, we were looking for drag queen butt padding. <laughs> drag queen <laughs> butt padding. That's funny. That's funny. Was the answer? Hilarious. On this day in 1909, the SOS distress signal was used for the first time. What's next for Amanda Bynes? <laughs> Wanda. Who? Ten points. <laughs> Kelly Clarkson will be coaching on this upcoming season of The Voice. Who looks like they buy produce at Walmart? <laughs> John Glazer. Trump's butthole. <laughs> 10 <laughs> points. Uh, uh, question 11. Johnny Depp is $40 million in debt. What's the last thing Winona shoplifted? <laughs> John Glazer. Trump's butthole. 10 points. <laughs> question 12. Again, June is Pride Month. Who is headlining Sacramento Pride this year? Who's headlining Sacramento Pride? Wanda? Colin Kaepernick. <laughs> <laughs> Is that a sports thing? It's a sports thing. <laughs> Incorrect. He's a, he's we were looking for some kid from Glee. He's the black quarterback who kneels. He's got the big hair. I know Jesus. he's cute. <laughs> Question 13. <laughs> Michelle Obama's favorite lunch is turkey chili. What do you bring to a funeral? Wanda. Tears. Ten points. <laughs> Question 14. A Girl Scout troop leader disappeared with $15,000 worth of... Oh, I'm sorry, that's time! That is time! Claude. Oh, man. Please tell us, <laughs> who is the victor of this Austin Television Festival edition? I knew I was going show now. the game show. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, your winner Sh oh, okay. and still champion, Wanda Sykes. <laughs> Wanda, what does victory feel like? It tastes like jelly beans. <laughs> <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, another round of applause for Mr. John Glazer, Ted Donovan, Karen Kildare, Casey Schreiner, Claude Ramey, and me, your host, Sky Branham. Please watch Talk Show, The Game Show, every Wednesday, 11 p.m., True TV. They make such nice stuff. Thank you very much, and good evening. Hey, and don't... The, your murder thing. Tell people you're your murder thing. Give a shot. Karen, 
Wanda, shut up! My favorite 